Amy, thanks. All right, so the sun's out, and that means the sunglasses are out too. But did you check the expiration date? Yeah, it turns out the sunglasses you're wearing every day may have actually expired. So, what should you know when it comes to UV protection? We have got Dr. Matthew Knight joining us now with some great information for us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me back. I love when you come by because you do bring such great information. And I've got to tell you, I probably have had the same pair of sunglasses maybe seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. Does that mean yeah, they're expired? Yeah, time to change. Okay, time. So, you know, Amy was just talking about vitamin D and yeah. melanoma, and this is all kind of in the same spectrum. There's there's light all around us, and most of it we can't see. It's invisible, like X-rays, things that produce CAT scans. Mm -hmm. Great because you can see through the human body, but everybody knows you wouldn't want to stand next to an X-ray machine because it can cause cancer sure. over time. Well, there are other rays called UVA and UVB. There's UVA and UVB that penetrate into our skin that do great things, like help us make vitamin D. Mm -hmm. But it can also lead to melanoma of the skin, and it can lead to serious problems in our eyes, like cataracts and macular degeneration. Wrinkling around the eyes and even ocular melanoma. So it's super important that we wear sunglasses. They make us look cool, but they help protect us from cancer. I do want to get into this if we can, really quick. Explain the difference between UVA and UVB mm -hmm. for those of us who may not know. Well, so they're different ultraviolet rays that are emitted by the sun. Right. There's actually a UVC that ozone scavenges and, and, and eats all of it up. Mm -hmm. But UVA and UVB make it down to Earth's surface where it can cause cancer, skin mm -hmm. cancer and ocular cancer. And the problem is that people go and they try to get a, a cheap pair of sunglasses. Like right. this is a cheap, cool-looking pair of sunglasses. Right, and would you believe that these are actually worse for you? Because when you put them on, they look cool, they look but, your, but your eyes actually dilate, right? Because these will block some of the glare and light, ambient light that we can see mm -hmm. into our eyes. So our eyeballs get dilated, which means if they're not blocking UVA and UVB, it's letting more of this harmful ultraviolet light into your eyes. So you've got to make sure that you look for sunglasses that are UVA, UVB protected, okay. or have the insignia UV400 on them right. to know that you're protecting yourself. So buying a cheap, small pair of sunglasses just because they cut down on glare doesn't right. protect you from the sun's harmful so rays. So wearing these, while they may look cool, I don't think they look cool on me, but while they may look cool on some people. They look ultra cool. Okay, you're right. too kind. But at the end of the day, you've got to look for more than something that looks good. So what should we look for if we're going out to buy a pair of glasses? And I think the other part of it is, what kind of cost are we looking at? Because a lot of times when people buy sunglasses, they buy two or three pairs because they want to buy them cheap, because guess what we do? We lose them. That's right. That's a great point. Yeah. But you don't have to get expensive with them. Most sunglasses that you're going to buy at the store down the street are going to be UVA, UVB protected. Okay. Like 10 to 15 bucks. But what happens is we, we keep them in our locker, or keep them in the purse, yeah. right? And you go reaching around for them, and you've got scratches and nicks and, and things all over your glasses that not only make them not work as well. These have a few little. Yeah, yeah. it can mm -hmm. lead to headaches and poor vision, but it also degrades the UVA, UVB coating on them, so we're not protecting our eyes as much. So you don't have to get super expensive, but it's best not to buy a pair that's been sitting at the kiosk out by the beach ah. forever because to the point of this, it seems that chronic UV exposure to glasses can degrade the film or the chemical in here that helps protect you from ultraviolet light. So glasses that have been out forever or that you use a couple hours a day, you need to replace them like every two years. Every two not, years. Not every replace. five to six years. So every I'm two years or so. Beyond over. But you only have to spend 15 bucks. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. Right. We've got about 30 seconds left. What do we have here? Well, I want to talk about uh, people out there doing sports like skiing or, or fishing. If Jamie was here, you know, obviously outside fishing a lot, mm -hmm. you got to protect your this, the corners of the eyes and make sure you've got. Got yourself protected, and I want to talk about the kiddos. Uh, Super yeah. important, right? Melanoma and skin cancer and cataracts. The the trend towards that starts early on, so you have to protect the kids with good protective eyewear. I got this at the store. It's a it's cool Spider-Man sunglasses. Cost nine dollars. Right. It's super important to protect the kids, and you don't have to have really dark lenses to protect yourself. You can have clear lenses that are coated to protect yourself from UVA and, and UVB. Okay. So don't spend a lot of money. Make sure to look carefully at what you buy. Change them out every couple, couple of years, and make sure to protect the kids, and you should be good for the Florida summer. i got to tell you, such great advice. That's why we always love having you Thanks. and Thanks for Dr. Having me. Knight. Good to see you again, as always. Have Happy a great weekend. weekend. Thanks. Have a great weekend with the kiddos as well.